Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech It, where I'm already lying in bed and I can just peek underneath the covers, isn't that neat? Yeah, and we have the always fabulous Hitman82 along my side again. Hello, hello. How are, you, how are you doing, buddy? Pretty well, ready to work. Yep, so am I. So we had a bit of an, well... Let's say an, a little bit odd request. Somebody wanted to see uh, Hitman feed the chickens and then go ballistic on him. Be be the genuine Hitman. Yep, William wanted to see me feed chickens and then ki kill a bunch. So this is how I do it. And keep an eye on my XP bar. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Look how much the chickens love me. That's a lot of chicken. Yeah, it's getting a bit crowded in there. I think you need to do some... Uh, how do you... I, I call the herd a bit. Yeah, prune the herd. <laughs> the flock. It's actually a flock of chickens, isn't it? Yup. Yeah, and this is one way how to tell that you have too many animals in a pen. They start glitching out through the fences. I just fed 64 of them. <laughs> it's killing time. We have a muffler, so you don't have to listen to them dying. <laughs> or or glocking, so to speak. What a, what is it called, anyways? Clucking. Clucking. I don't know. <laughs> the chicken goes cluck. You can't hear me because I'm standing on a muffler. Ah uh, no, I can hear you perfectly fine. Yeah, at some point here you'll be able to see the muffler standing up. Oops, I think oh. I hit a chip. I think I'm stealing some of your XP here. You... Oh. But you can see I'm up to level 12 already. From zero? From zero. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, wh while I'm doing this, why don't you tell our viewers what we're going to do this episode? Well, this episode, Hitman's going to show off some stuff that he built off-screen. He finished off the um, management from our tree farm downstairs in the storage area. And he's built some other stuff, which he's going to show off eventually. And I'm going to continue working on the Steve Scott's wheat farm which is gonna be pretty sweet I hope okay I hit level 16 almost level 17 and that now I'm gonna stand here and eat a piece of chicken <laughs> got a few eggs I got over a stack of raw chicken over a stack of feathers and wow a lot of egg so now what I normally do is, you'll notice I've got that piece of wood on the fence. That's what I use to bounce the eggs on so I'm not, I don't keep hitting the chicks. So I just kind of stand here like so and, and go through a ton of eggs. I'm not going to do it right now though. But that's that's how I keep the numbers up. So I can keep it makes a good little XP farm and it gives us lots of chicken and feathers. Right. Okay, so I'm going to just stick this stuff in the chest and then... Um, what I did is made some more deep storage units, plus we already had some. Just getting rid of stuff in my inventory. Alright, I'll take you down to the basement here and show you what I've done. I think two. I'm going to join you for a little Good. while because my viewers can see it as well then. Yes. So I made a bunch of reinforced portable tanks. I upgraded the three we, we had and then added more. So if you open the copper chest and show them, we've got five full reinforced portable tanks. They hold hold shift and it shows. We have 32 millibuckets in each one, or 32,000 millibuckets. That's 32 buckets of um, mob essence. And I went and I made a little pump down in their mine to get some lava. 
So you'll see that eventually. So now with the XP extractor, we just pull the XP out and dump it in these, and we'll be using that soon. Added a couple more steam dynamos. You saw the wiring on that on an early, uh, earlier episode, so all I did was knock out a couple pieces of sandstone and put the steam dynamos in. I also, uh, there was... I think, I think this one has an issue. Or is the charcoal out? Uh, okay, so I'll have nope. to pop that cover back, and it's probably just not set to export to it. I'll look at that in a minute. That's a good cat. So the redstone, or the leadstone energy cell, just look in the NEI to see how to build that. And I made a few of those, so I just put one in here. It's, I took out the, the energy um, conduit that's running along there and kind of put it in the middle. And if you look at the configuration here, this middle part is facing me. That's above, below, left, right, and back. So on the left is the output. So I change the color. You can change the color there, like so. So it's changed to the coppery color. That's the output. The blue is input. Set your input and output here, and then there's your mount stored. Okay, and that's about all I did here, except I turned the igneous extruder a bit so I could put a pipe on there and then put lava in to make um, obsidian. So, did a little bit of stuff. Not a lot here. And then in here I did a little bit, and that was I added in these uh, deep storage units. That's uh, right along here. These The blue yep. means they're export, so we've, the pipe goes upstairs. I'll show you that in a minute. So we got app. All goes into those. <laughs> Holy crap, 4,000 saplings. We could be looking into making biofuel. Yeah, that's a good source. Source of energy. All right, and I'll just punch out the, the uh, sand here to show you the underside here. So what I did is that set to output the red, and then I had a pneumatic servo, and I just right-clicked it and changed this from blacklist to whitelist. Put in the three outputs, which are apple, oak wood, and saplings. Now you'll notice the the uh, downstairs the charcoal that's not automatically filled right now because we don't have something set up for that, but we will. Cara's working on the next the Steve Cart's tree farm. So that's that's wheat what we've got accomplished. Or yeah, sorry, the wheat farm. That's what we've got accomplished so far. Yep, Hitman's been a busy little beaver. I did a bit. It takes me a lot longer now with like I'm sure I've told you a million times about allergies, but it sure makes things harder. Like I can hardly even put yep. words together right now. <laughs> Well, you're doing pretty good so far, so I wouldn't worry. Just got another black stained tree here. We're using the, the saplings to make the color, the black colored blocks here. As for the wood and the apple, I'll just st stick this in here, and it'll automatically go to our storage system. Okay, while well, Kara's working on that, I'm going to work on something else. Yeah, I need to go grab me myself some torches and some more pumpkins. I can't remember what it's going to work on. Um, spawner maybe. I don't um, know. you've uh, you, you've built stuff. Yeah, it was upstairs yep. in the chest. Yep. Mama. Looking at it right in a second here. Up here. Yeah, there we go. There we have it. So we've got a couple extra energy cells and the frames, which are the empty cells. So you use those for making other stuff, so I didn't use them all. And a few more steam dynamos, and we have our auto enchanter, disenchanter, anvil. The en enchanter works like if you have XP on you and you go to an enchantment table and you enchant something, 
the auto enchanter uses power and mob essence to do the same thing. And you can set what level you want it to enchant, and that affects how much energy and mob essence it uses. I usually set it at 30. Then you have the auto disenchanter, which will take an item, say you have a pickaxe with unbreaking 3 on it, you put it in the auto disenchanter, and it will remove that, um, you have to add a book as well, and it removes that enchant and puts it on a book. And damages the item, doesn't, it won't destroy it unless the item's already almost dead. The auto anvil, you can use that to add enchantment books onto other, or uh, add a book that's enchanted to a, an item. So if you wanted to take that Unbreaking 3 book, put it on your, you know, your uh, diamond pick, you could do that. And you can also combine items there. So if you had a diamond pick with Unbreaking and not, another one with, um, I don't know, Silk Touch, you could combine the two. So, we will be using these machines to start using up some of that mob essence. So I shall grab them and then I gotta find a place to put them. That's gonna be a Yo. bit of a build actually. Well, yeah. Oh, noob. Do I need fluid duct? Yes, I do. I need item duck, I need holy cow, I need lots of stuff. So I'll need to you find need, a place you need to a holy cow? I need a holy cow. Do you see any there? Uh, might be in the animal uh animal hangar. Possible. So I'm extracting XP now. This is how that worked. Yeah, setting a shot again. I'm what? You're setting yourself. You're setting a shot again with the uh, um, XP extractor. It looks like you're injecting a needle. You know. Yep, yeah. and then we'll use this for enchanting our books and stuff. Made a whole bunch of books using the sugar cane and the leather. The leather we made from our zombie flesh. And once I've got all this out, I just hate to sit here with XP on me. I like to get rid of it right away because, you know, it looks like the number sometimes glitches out. It says one, but there's not really any left. Yeah, it's a little bit buggy at some times. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Where are we at here? I've got some DSUs. Oh, i got water dripping from the ceiling. Oh, you still need to put a ceiling in yeah, here, so I, I need that'll to... take care of that. Yep. I'm tempted just to punch that out, put glass in so I can look up and watch what you're doing. <laughs> so, well, there's only going to be one block then. Not worth watching. So how do you feel about using the, the room on the... Uh, I guess I can't use the wall on the other side because it would interfere with the enchantment room. I could use it on the back, I guess. So we're actually going to have to have power in two separate places unless I try and put those machines out here in the machine room. I'm not sure how well that's going to work because we don't have a lot of room there. We have room on the wall where the um, the pistons for the um, the doohickeys, what are they called? The crafting tables. Yeah. We got room on that end, but uh, I think that wall's probably full of wiring, isn't it? Not a whole lot. Well, I'm gonna rip into the wall and look. Ooh, caro has been busy in here. I actually came in here when I was working on stuff and, and put some torches in and kind of hollowed it out a bit so I could take people through and show what you did. So you flip the lever and that puts a signal to the redstone here that runs along here. Yep. Couple of repeaters. More redstone down here. 
got the pistons down here. And if you look closely, there's one piston that's not doing anything. It's not connected to anything. Like if you stand, uh, don't walk in front. Uh, okay. So this is a piston as well, which doesn't mm -hmm. do anything, but it's needed in order to update the block because otherwise this piston doesn't function properly. That's a uh, crappy Minecraft mechanics. Well, I'm going to fix that up eventually with um, better wire. Uh, no, no more redstone wire. Uh, you'll use what the um, red power wire is it? Uh, yeah, project red as it's called nowadays oh yes okay all right so the only other place i can do this well i can do it on the far wall i guess break out the pick and here we go again so i need room for steam dynamos oh and i'm gonna have to get water over here which means hmm, running a pipe from the other side let me look at that again um i wouldn't do it from the other side i don't know if an aqueous accumulator can uh handle more than four of those dynamos. And that's why I added a second one in there. Ah, okay. So, hmm. I could put another four dynamos above and feed them into that solar, or that cell. And what would that do to me? Then I would need um, item ducts there as well. And that would feed those. And then that means I could put these other machines in a above these hoppers. So all they would need then is the power in the back and then on top I would put the fluid duct. So how much room do I have to move there? I think I've got... Can I go above those? Thank you, oh, that sandbag. Okay, so what's More above crafting. there? Uh, okay, so can I even go there? Because you've got that. And that would be visible here. I'm just doing mental math. Okay. It is starting to look like I'm going to need to build a room behind where the power is or else totally change where how our power is set up here. So, eeny, meeny, miny, or mo, which will it be? Mo. We shall never know. So what that would mean is probably a door in this corner. Or I tear all this power out and make a power room. I will have to think on that some more. I had planned to do it. You know, really, what this, what I'm limited by is the uh, the water. So I can just make another aqueous accumulator, or pull the one out that I put in there. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll have to do. Okay, well, it's time to start whacking away on this wall that you've made some nice here. No. Oh, I just had a thought. Um we're gonna be getting mob essence and need it over at the uh the mob spawn room, so wouldn't it make more sense to put all this stuff over there? Um yes. Well, I guess we'll go have a look at that. So what you're seeing is ideas in motion here, folks. Boring to watch, but at least you get to listen and 
and hear how my weird brain works. <laughs> Your brain is not that weird. Alright, so we have our spawn room here. So upstairs above the spawn room, that would make more sense to put the stuff in here. And so we'll need to add power and all that stuff. And hmm, I'll probably put the water... Do they still have water towers in this pack? Um, I don't know. I'm just having a look. Water spring, what the heck is that? I can't build it anyway with the NEI. Okay, well, <laughs> what I'll have to do then is... I'll, I'll make a little thing here for water and show that. Could maybe make a... Okay, well, if you want, we can always do a little pause until you are good to go again. Oh, if that's what you prefer to do. And... I'm going to leave it all up to you. Okay, well, we'll pause for now. We'll do a bit of work, and then we'll pick it up, and you'll see uh, some progress instead of watching me just punch some bricks for a while. Okay. And welcome back, everybody. I think Hitman uh, has a pretty uh, nifty setup going on over there. We're going to have a look at it in a couple of minutes. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. That's good. Okay, so I ran the power underneath here. The fluid duct running along here. Uh, do you want me to wait and show this when you're ready? or? I'm having a peek if my uh, wheat farm is going. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it's becoming nighttime, Hitman. You want to skip the night? Skip the night? I guess so. Yeah, okay, well, you can stay out there, but don't cry if the creepers blow your work up. And by the way, my wheat farm stopped because the sun has gone and I forgot to put in coal. Okay, so in the morning, um, we'll have a look at your your farm there and see how that's going. And then we'll go over and have a look at the um, stuff I've put in. And by the way, I have a little question for the viewers. Do you want to see us use a old-fashioned boring quarry or do you want to see us i mean this is we're doing a lot of steve scott so I, i'm imagining people get a bit bored of this as well i find that hard to believe because you don't see a lot of steve cart stuff on the yeah, internet that, that's i mean everybody and their dog is around a quarry i'd rather let's do something new we'll do steve carts or turtles yep. you can make a huge turtle boring machine not a boring machine, a boring mm. as in it bores through stuff. <laughs> There's lots of cool stuff that you can do. I need some coal because I think the thing is out of power. Ah, I wonder if it's going to get power whenever it goes under the edge of the building. Yeah, I think that's the issue. The daylight sensor seems to work, and it should be ju well. It's just underneath there. Oh well. Is the daylight sensor Steve's cart or another mod? No, 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 no. That's uh, vanilla, vanilla Minecraft. Uh, there's glass above it though. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, there's the solar panels right now. Yep. It's working now. Neat. So will it use solar when it can, and then when it can't, it'll switch to coal, or yes. how does that work? Yes. That's good. It's a smart way to do it. Go, little cart. Oh, and I <laughs> discovered if you stand in the way, the thing runs in you and then goes the other way. Oh, really? Yep, so you, if you don't like the direction it's going, stand in front of it, and it'll bump in you a few times and turn.
Alright, so that, when it's done seeding, it's going to, what, use fertilizer and start? Yes, it should should be uh, like that. But uh, keep in mind, this is the first time I ever built one, so I have no clue what I'm doing. So I set the coal engine to low priority and the solar engine to high, so ever, whenever it's able to use solar, it's going to use solar. And if not, then it's going to use uh, the charcoal. Right, it says it's using power now, not fuel. Yeah. It's, it's running not... around. Is it's it... fertilizing. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, you see it grow. It it doesn't instant fertilize like with bone meal. So if I go grab a watering can, I can fill this a bit and then we'll see the thing in action? Let's do it like this. I have some bone meal on me. It's harvesting. Hee <laughs> hee. Awesome. Neat. It looks like it's fertilizing as it harvests. Uh, harvest. Yeah. That is really neat. Solar powered harvester. Who would have thought? <laughs> Th that is a really neat mod. I like it. Yep. Okay, so let's go have a look at what I've got going here. I imagine off screen I'll um, hook that hook the harvester up to or the cargo manager on the harvester up to the uh yeah the uh storage cells below the deep what are they called yep. deep storage yeah DSU. yeah DSU. yeah okay so over here we have five steam dynamos i pulled that one that wasn't working from the shop just simply because i had planned to um to put these three machines which are fairly power hungry I'd planned to put them down in this in the shop downstairs, but now that we're not, I pulled out the extra. So now we've got five here. So they will be fed by the chest. I'll put a servo in there. So to put, we'll we'll put charcoal in there, and then it'll go to the steam dynamos. And we've got under the the floor here with the covers on. We have fluid duct that goes to all five of those. So we're going to build a water tower out here, and that's how we'll get water to the steam dynamos. Yep. The power goes through, a car has gone and put some brick covers to hide it from the other side, but the hollow power covers. goes... Yes. Oh yeah, it says hollow covers. And the power then goes down and into the bottom of these machines. And that's your auto enchanter, disenchanter, and anvil. Now, this machine here in the middle does not use the um, uh, mob essence. The other ones I can either slap uh, the tanks on top or else pipe it from the back and pipe essence in that way. We'll do that another time. So for now, I would say we need to make the water tank and then so throw some fuel in here and we're good to go. So, how am I going to make a water tower? Um... I'm guessing you want a aqueous accumulator in there? Yep, I've got one. I just need to get a couple buckets of water and make an infinite snort source block over there. I got a bucket as well. I got two buckets. Well, maybe for now we can set it up with the uh, aqueous accumulator on the ground for now. Mm -hmm. We'll do that <laughs> and then we'll build a water tower. Yeah, your armor just broke, by the way. Your pants. I don't care, I'll make more. So you want to set up an infinite source here somewhere? Yeah, I'm just going to do it right down here. Uh, just okay. around the corner from it. Alright, so the best thing to do then it would be a block of four. Three works as well. Oh, 
I'm going to peek on the combine. It's your baby. Yep. It's my babies. Okay, that should be a putting water now. Now, hopefully one will run five. Um, it won't be sustained power use anyway, and you know what? I forgot to put in an energy storage, so... <laughs> Which I can do down below here where I left the corner. I'm gonna grab the watering can just for the fun of it. Okay, so I've set that to output here, and then input from the other sides. Get rid of this connection so it doesn't bypass the redstone cell. Lightstone cell. So now they will start charging that up uh, once I've added some charcoal, so I'll go get some charcoal. And we are just about out of time, so I'm going to throw some charcoal in and then that'll be about an episode. Excellent. Next um, episode I'll show how to use it. Yeah. And by next episode we should have a fancy water tower there. If I don't get distracted by playing uh, farming sim too much. Well, uh, if you do, then I'll end up just doing it on screen anyway. Actually, that might only load three, so we're going to do it this way. Kaboom! Whoops. Just kidding. Right, so well, you break it, you fix it. Went looking for pneumatic servos and I had four of them sitting in my inventory. Okay, now that'll feed the machine. As you can see, we're starting to charge up our cell. And we have energy in the machines. The machines have full power. Now, these are extremely power hungry. So you'll see when I show this next episode, you'll see what kind of power they use. But you're going to have to wait because this is the end of this episode. Thank you for yep. joining us. Yeah, we'll catch you all later. Bye for now.